Did you know there are over 30 companies that do print on demand? Where the hell have I been? As in, when I was doing print on demand, there was pretty much only Teespring and, you know, Zazzle and Cafe Press. And now there are just so many different companies, it's absolutely ridiculous. So you know what I thought I would do? I thought I would create a video comparing every single company. I want to compare the shipping price. I want to compare the base product price. I want to compare if they do marketing for you or if you have to do it yourself. And I also want to see if they host for you or if you have to go and use Shopify or whatever. Mm -hmm. So let me just quickly say this video took me absolutely ages to find out some of the information. So do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button to make it worth it. And, uh, and yeah, I wanna get straight into the video. So just quickly, my name is Shiri Morris, and if you haven't already subscribed, I don't know why I like, come on guys, I, I'm making videos three times a week now. Anyway, so yeah, hit that subscribe button, help me get to 100,000 subscribers. It's a big number, six digits, just, just, yeah, just hit that subscribe button. And let's get right into the video. So we're gonna pop up all of the different companies right now and I'm going to use my computer because if you think I can remember 30 different print on demand companies off by heart you must be kidding yourself the different sites are Printful, Spod, Printify, T-Launch, Tpo, Jetprint, AOP, Redbubble, Merch by Amazon, Zazzle, Guten, Teespring, Spreadshirt, Designed by Humans, Merchify, Fine Art America, CG Pro Prints, Creative Fabrica, Heat Press Fun, T Public, Threadless, Sunfrog, Cafe Press, T Fury, Scalable Press, Kite, Ink Threadable, Ogo, and Gear Bubble. Oh. Uh. So, let me just quickly tell you that I am going to go through all these companies, and don't worry, this isn't going to be a boring video, it's going to be fun. You saw how I popped them all on the screen, I'm going to list all the different, you know, comparisons of them price wise. I haven't I haven't got all the information for every single one of these companies just because some of them are just so difficult to use and I just don't recommend them. Just off the bat, I don't recommend them because it was so flipping hard to find the information for them. And those ones I will I will also list towards the end of the video. So let's get into it. Let me just get some water. Hmm. What are we liking? Are we liking my new water bottle? 2.2 liters, this thing. Gotta stay hydrated, people. You have got to stay hydrated. I'm gonna do this quickly. Hope this video isn't more than, you know, 12 minutes. We'll see, we will see. So let's start, Printful. Base price is £6.42, and this is all just for a normal cheap T-shirt. And £6.42 or $7.97, I've just done a very basic conversion here. Okay, hosting, Printful, no, you will need to pay for Shopify or something to actually host your T-shirts. Shipping, USA shipping is $3.99 and additional product is an extra $1.25. And free marketing, they do not do any free marketing. You have got to do all the marketing yourself. Spod, S-P-O-D. Spod, base price is £5.15. That's pretty good. And, or, well, or $6.39 for a t-shirt. Hosting, no, you'll have to pay for Shopify. Shipping, USA is $4.55 for orders between $15 and $51. So the way they split up their shipping is based on order value. So if the order value is zero to $15, I think it was $2.99 and then $4.55 for $15 to $51 and getting higher and higher, the more expensive the order is, which, in my mind doesn't make any sense. If anything, it should get cheaper and cheaper. Whatever. Printify, let's move on to Printify. Printify is £5.81 for a base price or $7.21. This is for the basic unisex t-shirt. Now, if you have a premium Printify account, it drops down to $5.55. So you're saving basically $2. $5.55 per t-shirt is flipping cheap. That is good. That is very good. Hosting, no, you will need to pay for Shopify or something. Shipping, NA, I couldn't find anything. You'll, you'll need to do some form of third party shipping. It doesn't look like they offer shipping, but I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments if I am wrong. I just couldn't find it. I searched and I searched and I searched and I couldn't find it. 
Free marketing, there is no free marketing. T-Launch, T-Launch, the base price for a t-shirt is £6.84 or $8.50. Hosting, no, you will need to pay for Shopify or something. Shipping, USA is $5, but I was quite unclear. It was difficult to find the whole shipping information on T-Launch, but it looked like it was $5 based on the spreadsheet that I downloaded. Again, that took me about 20 minutes just to find this spreadsheet. Free marketing, they do not do any free marketing for you. T-Pop. T-pop, right? This is for the European market. The base price is £8.97 or $11.14, so a lot more expensive here. Hosting, no, you will need to pay for Shopify. Shipping, Europe is $4, which is about €4.49. And free marketing, nope, there is no free marketing. By the way, when I say free marketing, just so you know, free marketing, I mean like with Redbubble, you can put your t-shirt on their platform and they have a marketplace and people actually go and search. And if you have tags, they can just search and buy your product. That's what I mean by free marketing. So free marketing is when the company actually markets your shirt for you. If there's no free marketing, it means you've got to do paid ads or you've got to have a user base or something. Time to hydrate myself again. The next one, Redbubble. Base price is £12.82 or $15.92. Flipping it, that's expensive compared to the other ones. Jeez, hosting, yes, you can sell directly on Redbubble's site. Shipping is the UK, £4.79. And free marketing, yes, Redbubble have probably the best free marketing out of all of these websites. However, at that base price of $15.92, oh, it's so expensive. Anyways, merch by Amazon. Merch by Amazon base price. Now, this is an interesting one, and I have a video coming out on this, but Amazon is based on royalties. It's not based on how much you sell the it's, it's it's based on royalties depending on how much you sell the item for so if you sell the item for a ten dollar profit it doesn't mean you get ten dollars you just get a higher royalty hosting yes on amazon one of the biggest platforms in the world shipping i don't think i, I couldn't I, I assume shipping is with prime i just couldn't find it i don't know if it is i couldn't find any information so i've done shipping as n a free marketing yes of course you have amazon's free marketing oh come on it's amazon guten G O O Tun. Right, base price is £7.17 uh, or, I keep saying and, or $8.90. Hosting, no, you'll need to pay for Shopify or Etsy or something. Shipping is unclear. I searched and I searched and I searched and I couldn't find anything. Free marketing is a no no. Teespring, base price is £6.74 or $10.22. However, with Teespring, the more you sell, the bigger discounts you get. So if you sell 100 a month or something, you get like a dollar discount. Or I don't know the numbers off by heart, don't quote me. But the more you sell, they give you discounts on the base prices. Hosting, yes, they will host the product for you. Just to clarify, when I say hosting, I mean they will house the product for you. People can actually buy the product through the website Teespring or through the website, whatever the website is. So it's like a shop. Whereas if there's no hosting, you've got to actually create the shop on Shopify or Etsy or eBay. So that's what hosting means just for future references and for, you know, the past. Shipping is $5.99, but that's because of COVID. Usually it's $3.99. Um, but again, $3.99 is still a expensive amount of shipping. And then you've got free marketing, kind of. There is a kind of free marketing with Teespring. It's free after you get a few of your own sales. So you still need to do some of your own sales to build up the trust score to actually land on their boosted network, which is their free marketing platform. Spreadshirt, Spreadshirt. This is seems to be the UK only. I can't actually find the US version of it. The base price is three pounds on their marketplace or two pound 50 on your own. So if you sell on Shopify. Now this was all highly confusing. I don't know if this is correct because two pound 50 to sell this shirt on your own site just seems a bit low. So I wasn't actually sure. Now you've got hosting. Yes, they do host it or you can put it on your own site. Shipping, it looked like it was 20 for an order of £21.90. Shipping would be 4 99 Again, they do that. They, they base shipping on the size of the order. Free marketing, there is no free marketing for what I could see. T Public. this seems to be commission-based, around $4 for selling a classic shirt. However, it was incredibly confusing site. So don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. Cafe Press. Cafe Press, flipping expensive. I'm not even going to bother telling you anything about this because it's a waste of time. Avoid it. Like the plague. Kite. K-I-T-E. Base price is £7.25 or $9. Hosting on your own site, Shopify, you know, etc. Shipping looked like it was $3.20 and free marketing. There is no free marketing. 
Ink Threadable. That's a weird name. But whatever, base price £7.56 or $9.39. Hosting is on your own site, again, Shopify, etc. Shipping was £1.22, but it was slightly confusing and £1.22 seems very low, so I wasn't entirely sure. Again, I did as much research as I could on these platforms, but as I said, it was ridiculously confusing. Some of them were just plain right, like I felt like I needed a master's and a PhD just to understand these websites. So um, some of these websites, the information might be a bit off. Ogo, that's O-G-O, seems to be based in Australia, okay? It's an Australian-based company, it looks like. So it could be the Australian pod solution. Base price was $8 plus, plus printing costs, and it looked like printing costs was a further $8, but I could be wrong. Either way, it's blooming expensive. Sh hosting is Shopify, and then shipping is $8 for the first item, and then $1 per additional. So even then, this is just such a fortune, so I would also avoid this site, even if you are in Australia. Free marketing was a no-no. Right, those are the sites that I could actually find information on. And now, as promised, here are just some that I left out because I just genuinely could not find information on them. And if you can have, inf if you have information on them, let me know in the comments down below. And again, if you haven't already liked this video, hit the like button. Just because finding all of that information took me so long. So here are just the ones that you know. I left out. We've got Custom Cat at Plick Dropship. Now, someone actually left a comment a couple of days ago about a Plick Dropship. Um, they were going to start using them. I couldn't, for the life of me, figure them out. So, yeah. You've got Zazzle. You've got Design by Humans, Merchify, which is now Amplifier. You've got Fine Art America, Threadless, Sunfrog, Tifa, Scalable Press, and Gearbubble. I was quite annoyed about Gearbubble because I know the guy who made Gearbubble, and I honestly thought it was a really cool platform, but I just couldn't find anything about base prices. I couldn't find anything about shipping prices, and it just looked a bit confusing. So those are all the different options when it comes to print-on-demand, and I can understand where you guys are coming from. Print-on-demand seems to be a very, very overly saturated market just the fact that there are literally what 30 40 plus companies doing it if there are that many companies doing it there's going to be even more people actually selling t-shirts so whether or not you should actually go ahead and do print on demand i'm gonna leave that ball in your court personally in this day and age i would do amazon fba i would do affiliate marketing or youtube over print on demand print on demand is just difficult and time consuming and it can be annoying to keep making designs and not get sales. So look, I'm gonna leave that ball in your court, but if you are wondering which platform you can use, here was a list of pretty much every single platform. Now, if you're thinking of these platforms, which one should I use? Shimmy, just tell me which platform to use. Well, the platforms that I recommend are Teespring and Redbubble. Teespring is pretty good. Redbubble is pretty good. I know they're both very expensive, but the free marketing that you get from them is brilliant for a first time seller, especially if you have a very little budget to actually market it. If you have a huge Instagram following or a huge YouTube following, and you know that you are going to be able to get thousands of sales, avoid all of these sites and just go and bulk buy t-shirts and ship them out yourself or send them to a third party company and ship them out for you. You will increase your profit margins literally 10 times and the quality of the t-shirts will be a thousand times better. So that is my advice. I hope you liked this video. If you did like this video, you might like this video. It should be like over here where I actually talk about uh, Redbubble and I talk about, you know, how to get free sales with Redbubble, how they can actually market your shirt and the steps that you should take to increase your chance of getting free sales. So go and check that out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.